the Master Cube. Each of its six sides represents a different custom Yu-Gi-Oh format, a cube, if you will. All of which contain over 300 chaotic cards, carefully chosen from across Yu-Gi-Oh's history to show the most unique and fun plays this game has to offer. Each episode, a special guest and I will draft 80 random cards from one of these custom cube formats before building decks with them and facing off at a best of three on Master Duel. What secrets will the Cube of Cubes hold for us today? Only time will tell. And welcome back to Master Cube, Yugi Tube's newest drafting show. I'm Hardleg Joe, if in you didn't know, and today I'm proud to be joined by the man, the myth, the legend. I wish I was dead. Well, uh, thank you for having me on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I always gotta gas up my guests, you know, make them feel like they're more important than they are. I mean, turns out I'm not running the shadow government of Yuki Tube. Yeah. I'm just... <laughs> You're just a guy. You're just a regular old guy. And I guess we, real quick, for those who aren't familiar with you, how would you describe your role in this community? Uh, I I'm a... I'm a guy that just likes building decks. And you've uh, got your toes in a whole bunch of different communities, I would say. Yeah, uh, insert 30 plus Yugi series here that you might know me from. You've been on SEMO, you've been on uh, MBT, you've helped me with Chaos Draft stuff. You're just, uh, you know, popping in, offering your, your advice, and you're pretty good at building. You're renowned for making very interesting, very well-functioning decks. And now you're making content. You've started streaming on Twitch, right? Yeah, uh, you can find me on Twitch. Uh, I wish I was dead today. Yeah. Uh, it, <laughs> I'll have I a had link to put, in the description. Yeah, I had to put today at the end of it because uh, uh, Twitch didn't like I wish I was dead. But yeah. as long as if you put a timestamp on it, it's fine, apparently. As long as you're specific about when you wish you were dead, you know. And I will say it is one of those those weird names. The first couple times I heard it, I was like, is is he okay? Is, that, is everything fine? And no, you're yeah. just a jovial, nice guy. Uh, and if you do, we talked about this earlier, like, if you ever do start YouTube, you might have to rebrand a little bit. I don't know, I wish I was Doug, maybe? <laughs> that, that, that certainly won't confuse anybody. No, not at all. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad to have you on here. This is your first crossover ever on the, the, the Master Cube. And of the cubes we have here, you've decided that there's one in particular you're interested in, which is the one you made, the one that you've guessed created. In addition to everything else, he designed one of the six cubes, which is Battle Pack 2 War of the Giants Round 3, which is, I, I assume, based on the Battle Pack draft? Yeah, um, it, it tried to mimic the same style of Battle Pack 2, where tribute summons matter while removal is sparse. So it, you can actually commit to these gigantic guys without, like, immediately losing the game if they die. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. I remember when we were doing the uh, deck build challenge back in the day, people would always be like, you need to do an Egyptian god battle. And like, yeah, that's cool in the anime and everything, but the reality of it in real life is that you're going to invest three materials into summoning a god, and then they can just remove it with, like, fissure or a trap hole, or any other thing that gets a car compulsory evacuation device. And it's like, it becomes this battle not of wits or strategy, but who has the removal at the right time they need it. So this hopefully should solve that. And we've played it a few times before, but I'm curious to see how you actually do with a draft. We know you can build them. Can you play them as well? And, uh, I mean, and if you beat me at my own cube, like, you'll have forever, like, the street cred of, uh, I'm better at, w I wish I was dead at cu cubing forever. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll at least have that. You know, I've lost a lot of these duels, but if I could win that one, it'll be worth extra points. So let's go ahead and jump into the drafting and see what we can come up with. Let the draft begin. Who amongst you has what it takes to do the stuff and ooh, already a lot of good stuff here yeah th this pack has a lot of bangers I i'm i'm almost considering going for a meme strat though it'd be really funny done this card every time that i've i've had the cube and i almost don't want to do it again but at the same time it's so good how can i deny it i'm gonna have a must pick there it, it's going to be cash to your birth 
<laughs> no, not that again. Uh, Although this is a level seven. This one has a lot of crazy ones. It's all kind of similar. It's like that. That one's similar. Yeah, out of all the ones, this one seems like the best one. So many good choices. I think I have to go with this, though. Anytime you can get a free monster, it's a free monster. Some of these cards are super duper cool just because they. They're cards that would be playable in a lower powered format, but they there was never any environment to ever <laughs> make them see play. Fuck it, I'm gonna try it again. Uh, yeah, might as well take that. I can't believe you didn't take the Junior Journey reference. No, no. I know the BES Tetran? Never. <laughs> I would rather die! You know, the Gravity Ninja is a great card, but not in this particular format. I, I think he was a late addition um, in this queue because I had. Um, there's a. I believe it's called Goldilocks. It's a machine monster, and it ended up being way too powerful. Ah. Oh, the new battle landscaper that moves around? Yeah, you place it in the middle column and blow up everything on the left or the right side. Yeah. And yeah. That that's just a little bit too good in a, the same format with Tetra. Yeah. Oh, and I guess I'm gonna take this one. I don't have much choice. Alright, let's see the next set of packs. Show me what we're working with. Give me something good. These are not good. <laughs> I mean, these are certainly Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They exist. I mean I've existed from time to time. I mean, it's gotta be this one. There's... Yeah, I think I've got to take, yeah, I've got to take this. It's too good. And I, I go from a pack where I think everything's, there's a lot of good stuff, and then I go into another pack and I'm like, what's what going was on I here? I thinking? Huh. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen this card before. Uh, there's nothing else that really fits my theme, although this is also a pretty good card. Well, I'm going to try this out. Something new. My strategy for magic drafting used to be hate draft all the best all all the best cards and then just build your deck out of the hate drafted cards. <laughs> just take out just be, use the best cards, dummy. Oh, it's it, this was the last one. Okay. I guess it's not good. It's it's like a noob trap, but whatever. Okay, let's get the next set of packs in here. Ooh. We're almost halfway there. What's what's what are we working with? Uh, these are certainly Yu-Gi-Oh cards for sure. I mean, yeah. it, it has to be this one. Though. It 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 has to be this one. There's a lot of good ones, but I feel like this is like underutilized. Like it's just free advantage forever. It's this big. card is just annoying to deal with, but I don't want you to have it. So I'm <laughs> taking it. I think this is the same thing. Where it's like I don't think I'm going to use this, but I definitely don't want you to have it. And also, there's nothing else here that's really. Good. I'm really, I, I'm wondering what Adios. was in this pack now, because it's like, this is still in here. Why? How? You may not be dead, but you'll wish you were when I'm done with ye. Oh, he's, he said the line. I said the line. All right, let's go to the next pack. I really got to get payoff. I think this is close to the last one, or the last set. It's, uh, what the heck is it? Oh, wait, nope. Math, instant pick. Everything pays off. I've got two of it now. Can't stop me. Uh, what if I also told you uh, I found something that uh, I've been drafting towards the whole time and I found the second copy? <laughs> Good. Then we'll both have the strategy we want. Yeah, I'm gonna take another one of these. This one seems way too funny not to take, and we'll see if it works out. Only time will tell. The future is a mystery. Oh, I mean, yeah, it has to be this one. It just has to be. Uh, I mean, I already got the other one. Might as well. Got the thing that fits with it. Oh, Frost and Flame Dragon is in this one, too. How neat. All right. Now this is the last pack, I'm sure. We get 15 more and we'll... Whoa, I didn't know this was in this set. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Uh, I, I can't let the bot take this. I just can't. <laughs> 
And sure, why not? I'll take I'll take the Soul Strike as the last one. You get to know one card I have, and there we go. A whole list full of things. I, I'm feeling pretty confident about our my list. What What do you think of what you got? Uh, pretty good. Uh, so far. Did you get the strategy you were hoping for? I, I got a lot of it, but you can look over the bot picks here. I'm like, no! You, you, how dare you take that from me? How did they end up with all these things? But yeah, let's go ahead, take these, bring them into Master Duel, build up some decks, and then we'll see what we come up with. I just couldn't help myself. I had to try it again. I had to go for the Cash Tier of Birth, even though... We don't have a whole lot of level 7s, just two main ones that we can normal summon. M's the Infinity and Greed Quasar. We can also, you know, just normal summon Labyrinth Archfiend, which we managed to get two of again. Which is of course just really great, big, high attack monster, special summons when you activate a trap. And oh boy, do we got a whole bunch of traps. We managed to get a whole bunch of Paleos, we managed to get Swamp Mirror, Quantum Cat, a couple other extra things, uh, Chaos Burst, which is a good trap that, like, activates when an attack is declared, so you could search it off of this. And then, because a lot of these are normal monsters, we've actually got some things to work with the Tennies. So the Tennies are here, and then in addition to our level 7 package, we've got a Burning Dragon, free special summon, and we got two Infernal Queen Salmon. These completely wrecked us last time, but now we have two of them, and we got the targets for them the Terror King, and the Seven Colored Fish, which are also normal monsters, so again, some of that little normal monster stuff will, will come in. Everything else here, just like tech cards, we got a bunch of, like, one-off monsters that should stall us or be free special summons or remove attack or whatever. Overall, I'm pretty confident. I think we may have this, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Or into this deck profile. I don't, I don't know what order these are going in. Editing. Well, hello, YouTube. Uh, this is the deck we decided to run with. I went for a Fiend slash Archfiend theme because Call of the Archfiend is a super duper cool card. Uh, being able to revive things every turn. Unfortunately, we only have a few targets for this, but we have lots of Fiend monsters like Zalamander, C Catalyzer, and Votus. In addition to, we have a lot of doubles of a bunch of our monsters so we can actually trigger Votus. Because we pulled one of the Archfiend Emperor, we went for playing a bunch of Archfiend cards in our deck. And I'm hoping that, even though he's bad, if we can summon this once, I'll, we, we, we will have won the, the entire match just for summoning, summoning the ball. But yeah, uh, let's see if I can get any Royals from batch generating. Wait a minute, you're telling me all my R's? And ends don't get royals? Come on! So it begins the duel of fates. A man who wishes he was alive versus a man who wishes he was dead. Who amongst us will have what it takes to emerge victorious? Well, I'm going to go first because I'm a huge fan of seeing the victory screen. So we'll see how that goes. You really think going first is good in this format? Uh, I th I think in for uh, a lot of hands you can... Uh, maybe not this hand, but there's a lot of hands, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of hands that you need the setup for, but yeah, this is, uh, okay, the most formidable turn one you have ever seen in your life. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. I've been there. I've done things. Who says I haven't? Uh, I may be regretting my life choices. I'm gonna set, and then, whereas you set one measly pathetic card in the center, I will set several cards! No, come on. So much back row. I swear I'm not playing Labyrinth. I didn't just cheat and load up with a Labyrinth deck. I mean, I'd respect it, honestly. <laughs> that's probably, it's probably gonna be too big, but we'll hit it anyways. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. A tenny? Yeah. So a potential normal monster theme. Possibly. I, or I it mean, could I, just be a free special summon. Yeah. You don't I mean, know I'm me. I'm chillin'. I'm chillin'. Yeah. Clearly. Alright. 
Big draws, big draws. Uh, up, 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 up. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm fine with this. Go ahead, do your worst. Mm. What are you gonna okay, do? Tribute one something? Draw. Yeah, <laughs> there's one draw of my deck that's like really, really good here, but we'll see if we get it. No, no, <laughs> yeah, no. Just attack it for. <laughs> Die! You don't have any other monsters? <laughs> don't worry about it! <laughs> like, you're not setting anything, but you also don't have any mo- what could you possibly have? Oh, uh, it, it could be literally anything. Um... Yeah, Cash Tira, think... Fenrir. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm breaking on Cash Tira, Fenrir, or Unicorn. Yeah. Um... Uh, sure to special uh, summon them first! You know, I was, I was playing around you being lab because I thought it was a full mind game. <laughs> All right. Let's see who we can get. Come on, big money, no whammies. That, that works. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Let's set another one. <laughs> <laughs> I am setting so many cards. What could it be? Stuff for yards. Well, now I can make a play, but I don't really want to do it. It's all the background. That's <laughs> fine. They don't do anything. Clearly, I haven't been doing anything the whole time. I, I mean, sure. <laughs> we, we... <laughs> the, this cube is a little bit too good, is the problem. Let's go for Swamp no, no, no. Mirror. Okay, so summon that defense. A light dragon. 1800. You want to crash? Oh, I, I, I'm good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you would want to tribute stuff. Yeah, I mean, you fell for the, the tendy. No! <laughs> Swamp Mirror is a normal monster. <laughs> no! Target me all you want, it won't help you. Reading! <laughs> get out of here. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. We needed to get that out of the way. Um, if you had crashed, then they'd both be dead. Now ooh. only one of us is dead. And it's yeah. not me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to get... I don't want to, like, lose the game to a Mobius on the spot, so... I mean, maybe that's incorrect, but... Lose the game? You think I have a Mobius? Maybe. Alright, whatever. Uh, or, I mean, maybe the Yugi or Kaiba bot drafted it. I thought you were paying attention. I didn't even look. I just briefly glanced down. Okay, what do you got here? We will bring him back. But he came back... back. Special summoned it in defense position. It can't be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. That is unfortunate. Yeah, so he's sticking around this time. Uh, yeah, but I'll, I'll still attack your face down. Oh, leaf place, place. Yeah, see, not doing I too see. much. Uh, what's this again? If this card in your hand or graveyard, your opponent has more cards in their graveyard than you. Which I, okay. it's currently not. You have zero, not, because you banished one. Not going great at the moment, you know. Okay. We're doing uh, fine. We're doing good. Uh, I'm going to... Addition. Ah! A very big gentleman. Battle phase! Let's see if we can clear both these. Yeah, let's go ahead and reveal one of these. Okay, I, I was suspecting this might be, like, there's a couple 2400 defenders in this set, because, like, the Guard Mantis. It Ooh, is not a, a 2400. I was really hoping with the one back row removed that you might do something. But, uh, no. Maybe I should have waited on it. Still an 1800 defender. Yeah. But because you have my defense, I can't uh, kill it. Yeah. With, uh, this guy, but he can still kill the Swamp Mirror as long as you don't have another Tenny. I don't have another Tenny. However, you may have forgotten this car. Um, sure, we'll bring this back. Oh, that's horrifying. Consider your memory lost. Okay, now you can have any number of big guys that ruin my day, but... Big dudes doing big stuff. You know how it is. Yes. 
Ooh. Archfiend Emperor. That yeah. is effective. I, oh, I, you have like, an Archfiend. Yeah, I could target a back row, but it's probably chainable, I would assume. Uh, I do want to get your 1800 beater off the board. Aw, oh, come on, he's not doing much. He's just a guy, he's just a little guy. And now that I've totally played around Axum this whole time, I'll put another back row face down. <laughs> another one. Uh, alright. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and summon Praying Mantis! No. It's a new card! I've never seen this thing before, but it seems pretty good. You know, if you declare an attack, uh, stuff happens. Mm -hmm. So, unless you've got another Archfiend you want to banish, I'm feeling pretty confident. Not as confident as if I had a Tribute Summon to summon, but still pretty good. Uh, yes. It sucks, but I have to pass. Uh, I, I hey. can't out him. Yeah. I, I got him. And yeah, I actually did draft one of these just so... <laughs> oh, <laughs> because I'm like, this Mantis. card is so annoying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Special summon up baby Mantis token, which is also a normal monster. Fuck it. You didn't like the 1800 beater before. Ooh. What do oh, you think God. about this? That's horrifying. Uh, let's go what are you going to just to break me? Attack. Damage step? yep rooney No, we gotta do this one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Why, why don't you play some trap cards that stay in your graveyard? Thank you. <laughs> I completely forgot the Leaf Place place was here. But, you know, we take what we can get. Now I'm getting in for a whole bunch of damage. I didn't even need to tribute a monster. I just got I got all this stuff. Okay. I Good. mean, I, I definitely choose the opportune. Yeah, it's quaking. I just misclick the whole time. <laughs> uh, Pretty sure there's no mirror forces in here. That would be too powerful. I feel like. Yeah. I'm going to MST this one. Yeah, I might as well. Gain 500. That way, if you want to defeat over my strongest monster, hopefully you cannot. I think we're... I think we're chill. Interesting. I have 5,000 damage on board. Uh, I demand a recount. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I could, I could just be defensive, even, and I still have enough. Let's go for it. 1500? 1500? Okay, uh... Wah? Wah? Oh! Ah, I see! <laughs> With attack less than or equal to your life points. I thought about getting Loki, but then I'd have to kill the seven-colored fish. <laughs> because he's bigger than <laughs> Loki. I see, I see. I mean, I'm saying his OCG name, I guess, Legendary, the God of Archery. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, might as well. But yeah, you still have this Praying Mantis, which is like, no! Oh yeah! I forgot! <laughs> I forgot about that for a second, I'm like, oh no, now you're gonna attack over my fish, what am I gonna do? I mean, this is the strategy. If I don't attack you, you can't summon any more tokens. <laughs> Clearly. I am going to tribute a token and my Axon Ooh. for Labyrinth Archfiend. <laughs> he's okay, very he wasn't big. special summoned, but he's very big. No, he was not special summoned. I could not special summon it because I didn't have enough room. Uh, yeah, he's just big enough to get over you, unless you've got some kind of battle trap. Which you very well could have. Let's, if you got it, you gotta show it to me. Uh, Last chance I mean, to look at me, Hector. Yeah, this is the only thing we can do, and uh, we'll just do it right now. Ah, I see, I see. 
Um, but it still doesn't out the Praying Mantis. Hello! I don't know why I summon that. I don't need to. I mean, might as well. I mean, now I'm weaker. And that'll be banished when it leaves the field. <laughs> that was very so. Well. Oh, I guess I didn't even need to book it up at that point because you were weaker. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm playing around your face down track card. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm very glad you are. Because <laughs> it's certainly not doing a whole lot. Uh, I mean, yeah, I still can't attack, so, you know, uh, we're, we're playing, we're playing the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. I should not have summoned this hallucinogenica. I mean, surely you'll find a way to get another trap card in the grave. Yeah, the problem is, if I, I need to clear a space, but I don't want to take any damage. <laughs> not the onus is on you, you do something. Advance oh. the game state, Mr. Smart Smart Guy. I'll get another trap eventually. Or not another trap, another monster eventually. I will go uh the first monarch. Alright. I see what you're cooking up. And I will reveal to you I was bricking on a copy of the Wicked Avatar. <laughs> really confident that you could get the three monsters on board. <laughs> yeah, I'm staring at your five monsters and I'm like, I look like a complete goober. Why not me? I wanted the monsters. Um, but I had to play him. He's so funny. This fall. Ah, proof of the pudding. And I was breaking on a second copy of <laughs> my opening <laughs> hand had two of these. Alright, okay. so they actually got the Wicked Avatar. Yeah, Their so now one turn. of these, we can attack with both of these, and one of these will clear the Mantis. Uh, yeah, I guess I gotta do it. That is really unfortunate. I would have liked to use the Chaos Burst. Yeah, and I, I have to get this guy out of here. <laughs> he is so annoying. He's got so many things! What will you do against Ball? Uh, I think there's something out. So what happens to effects that, like, lower the attack and defense? Like, do they even work? I think he's just always the highest. Like, he always modulates himself to be the highest. So, like, if I do something that, like, lowers you by, like, 500, he just goes back up to 3,300? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Or does it lower it by 500 and, like, lock you in there? Because I know some effects work that way. Yeah. Like, I... Th like, I I'm really... I'm notoriously bad for my uh, attack... Uh, calculation ruling. We're gonna figure like... it out! <laughs> subtraction! Can you defeat a god with subtraction? With math? No! Math cannot kill a god. Math does not do anything! <laughs> it, it's not the Simpsons episode where he uses math to prove god isn't real. Yeah. <laughs> that is unfortunate. We ballin'. How my, my whole thing was like big attack monsters. I don't know how I'm supposed to get over this. Can't even use spell traps for two turns. Not that I have any. They've all been used. And even if I did have any. Don't worry about it. Now he's only 1900. That's still more than I have. Uh, what does this do? It's... If Yu-Gi-Oh! ever gets to the point where, like, people can normal summon this, it, it will it will be probably a very bad format. It'll be a bad time, I tell you what. Uh, I don't know why I'm afraid of these. What are you gonna do? 100 damage to me? <laughs> yep. Okay, at least I can activate spell traps again. I mean, surely there's not a single spell trap that kills my god card. Surely. The problem is, I've got a lot of spell traps that, uh, you know, do stuff with attack. That's the main problem. Okay, well, um, 
Behold, ball. Yep, go ahead. It'll do what it do. The problem is, if I could do something, but it would be incredibly telegraphed. Mm. All right, we're fine. We're fine. I just gotta find a way around it. Uh, send this target. Oh, I think that does it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, I'm, I'm going to call the the flavor judge over if it outs my god card and complain. Beware my Paleozoics. They are I ancient mean, and frightening. And they're also unaffected by monster effect, which is also horrifying. True! Not that you have a lot of monster effects. Ball just affects itself. Yeah. Uh, surely. Yeah, we're going to rocket hand. Ooh, that's pretty brutal that. Ooh, I can bring back Eldonia. Yeah, we'll do that. And Shade Brigandine. Ooh, all the attack buffs. All the attack buffs. I want to survive. I mean, my Archfiend gets owned. Uh... Yeah, I need to own your Archfiend. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh no! A replay happens. Uh, continue to attack. Uh, yeah, I'll attack a different guy, I'm pretty sure, if I click yes. I'm hoping if I click yes, I don't attack it. Yeah, we can attack somebody else. Great. Fantastic. Wait, why can I activate this? <laughs> we, you can only use one rocket hand effect per turn. Uh, <laughs> but that would have outed my god card. But uh, alas, uh, we, we're angle shooting here. I Reading. thought I could do the battle and then do... Uh... Like we're we're taking shot. everything we can get. <laughs> we only have one. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, we finally found one of our cool cards. Ball um, is not a cool card? I mean, I, I think this one's pretty cool. Ah. A big boy. Very big indeed. Well, that is very unfortunate. Uh, the question is if you have anything that can- Oh, yes, you have the Shade Brigade! I can't even kill you! Uh, I don't think that's- uh, you can't kill me this turn, but... Yeah, you have a- you have an attack- you have two direct attack negates. Or no, just one. Yeah, just one. Yeah, uh, the, the Magnet Ring is a negate. If it's set- Ouch, my most of me. And he came back. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I guess I gotta take the 1900. And then I'll try my best. Uh, you, you sure you don't want to summon that attack? I can't. It only summons in defense. Oh. <laughs> yep, I shouldn't have summoned that paleo. It could be literally anything. Alright, I need something oddly specific. If your opponent controls four, three fiend monsters and a set card, shoot, shoot them with a gun. <laughs> Uh, okay. We'll do this. That's pretty good. This. <gasps> Book of Moon. 
Yeah. You can't book of mood my god card. I, I just did. Goes to sleep. What can I say? And then we'll set a card. <laughs> and there you go. It'd be so funny if the Wicked Avatar would, like, trigger on Flip Summon, but it's only on, on normal. Yeah, unfortunately it still has the attack that's not like I could flip it face down, but as soon as it gets flipped up, it just becomes 3100 again. And we drew another Archfiend, so we will pop that face down in case it does anything <sighs> spectacular. That is very unfortunate. I had this, I just didn't think, you know, I had so many other traps and everything, and uh, it didn't work out for me. I mean, I think I, my goose was cooked without the, the rock at hand uh, play that, that costs, because yeah. I would have been down everything. Yeah, but even before then, I feel like I may have goofed just a, just a slight bit, but that's fine, it's best two out of three. Hopefully it won't be as sloggy this time. I, I mean, sure, surely I won't draw double ball two tribute monsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this hand is very interesting. We've uh... okay. We'll normal summon Votus. Ah, look at the top three, and if you've got doubles, claws, a trap, nah! or a trap. It doesn't appear as though you've got any monsters there, young young man. Okay, I'm waiting. Uh, we're, we're chilling. We're chilling. What are you What are you gonna do? Mega Mobius me? Uh, maybe. You don't know what I'm planning. I could be doing anything. Not that though. Void expansion. <laughs> oh yeah, this card is crazy. Set this over here. And end turn. You're not gonna be able to OTK me. Surely. I am I am confident in my un OTK ability. Oh um, I mean we are we are chilling with we're gonna get some damage out on board anyway. Archfiend soldier, an expert at battle. He's I mean, th that's the only reason why you lost last game, was I had two of them. If you have two experts, you're unbeatable. Too strong, too fast, too furious. Alright, I'm almost dead, but that's fine. I'm gonna get a token. I like tokens. Uh, Actually, something? There we go. Oh, Something that's interesting is there's no other cards in the archetype that make tokens. There's only the field spell. Yeah. There we go. Infernoid token, which looks like a little light bulb for some reason. All right. And then we are going to tribute that token. Who to summon Terror King Salmon. Holy crap. A fearsome master of the Sea of Darkness. And... Yeah, we're gonna go to battle. We're gonna try for... We're gonna try for Votus. See what kind of battle traps you got. Nothing. Alright. Monster you control is destroyed by battle. Target special summon. Monsters from the deck whose combined levels equal their level. Okay, yeah, so you get like two level twos. Yeah, or or a single level four, but their effect effects are negated. But we can grab uh, the fiend guy that ah. brings himself back every turn. That's pretty neat. Okay, and now I feel a little more confident uh, setting several cards. <laughs> See what we got. And then during the end phase, he triggers. I can stack my deck. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh Wait, no. it shows you? Oh no. It shows you. It did show me. Uh, I, I, 
I kind of like that order, I'll be honest with you. I like Black <laughs> Falcon. Oh, okay. I thought you would go for the MST and, you know, get rid of my token creator. But but this is my token creator. <laughs> Behold. Falcon. I, too, had a subtraction. Ah, I see. I've been subtracted! You fiend! Battle. And speaking of fiends, go, my fiend. Yeah, I gotta do this here. Let's get rid of you. Ooh! Pop, pop. One thousand. You'll get a token. Oh, that's really interesting. It's mandatory to summon the token. Yeah. Mandatory. I mean, you could say I have a tribute monster on board. He's level 7. He counts. <laughs> okay, I mean, we are, we are big chillin'. Okay, and then end phase, I'll activate Oasis of Dragon Souls. Come back, my Terror King Salmon! And it becomes Worm! It's a Terror King Worm now! It's like uh, the Ice Jade Dragon. <laughs> it's a Salmon that's a Worm. Oh! So. Uh, yeah. Give me a token. Well, that's either a really good draw or a really bad draw. I think it's pretty good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident with how good this this draw is. Uh, okay, so token to attack mode, and then we'll activate burning dragon. No, no, come on! Burning oh. dragon, here we come! I for, I think because of how these type of cards work, I need to activate this right now. Because I'm pretty sure if I chain it to your summon, uh, I can't use it. So you could switch my my guy for this turn. Yeah. Yep, and... Oh, it destroys all spell traps on the field. Oh, I thought it was okay. all your spell traps. Uh, I guess I will not activate that then. <laughs> no! Uh, yeah, let's go over 19 with the 25. Behold, my infinite stun lock. Wait, what is this? Uh, change it to face up defense position. Ah. All right, well, I will attack you. Oh, I've made a big mistake again. I was wondering what you had, and I was like, am I misreading my own card, or...? Oh, okay, good. I can chain this. No! <laughs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to! <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure if that's not equipped, then the effect doesn't go through, which means yeah. the attack does go through. Which means I get owned. Total outage! And uh, that's it for now. And and you know my next two draws. I don't remember. One of them is MST. I remember that. Yeah, now the question is, what do I... I, I mean, do I MST the Terror King Salmon or the thing making the tokens? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Terror King Salmon is a threat right now. The tokens will be a threat later when I have more tokens. <laughs> Yeah, I think I get rid of one of your beaters. Yeah, the token generator is very, very good, but I, I, I need to make sure I don't die. Yeah. Flesh and now I kind of wish I saved some traction. Yeah, for something a little bit more powerful. Well, we get him back anyway. Yay. I just really gotta hope. Come on. There's a chance. Give me the cards I want. <laughs> Could be literally anything. Face up, face down. 
That's yeah. not great, but it's not mm -hmm. awful either. Okay. Give me a token. I mean, surely. Don't call me sure. Uh, let's go to attack. And... Uh, yep, we're just going to attack this one. No. Okay. I, I'm so worried about the battle traps, but it seems you don't have as many as I do. Uh, we will set a card. Your move. Okay. okay Your secret okay. is not safe with me, Spider-Man. Okay, let me see if I can scroll back up to where Votus was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the last card was Quantum Cat. Oh, well, thank you. This could be literally anything. <laughs> I'm fine with taking a little bit of damage just to clear the bodies, maybe? Like, I don't... Or... No. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna attack the face down. It, it could be a Guard Mantis, but like... Or... Oh, shit. It's gonna be a Crawler. It's gonna be a <laughs> Crawler, and I owned myself. The Axon! I, I, I set my back row. Okay, fine. You've already oh. declared it. Fortunately for you, it's not a Crawler. Okay. It's just another Tenyu. And surely I won't forget that you're... Uh, normal monsters have targeting protection, surely. Hopefully. Alright. I am just going to get as many tokens as I can. Stock up on tokens! Okay, so we know you've got the quantum cat. Let's go into battle. Eh. Take the damage. Mm. No. Yes. All right. Do, 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 Okay. I'll set a card. And now you are on to mysteries! It was weird, in the first duel, you were talking beforehand about the ratios of high-level monsters to low-level monsters. <laughs> and I was like, that seems a bit high. I went lower than that. And it seemed like it was paying off at first, because you were bricking on high-level monsters. But I am unable to get any finishers on board. All I have is this 2,500 I, I mean, and a million tokens and nothing to do with them. And I've been like, I really need a high-level monster all game. I haven't seen one. It's like, no. Fine, we're fine. Main phase two. I will set another. Oh wait, you're only at 36. For some reason, I thought you had a lot more. Maybe I should uh, have put you on a, a three. To, well, no, I only got 1300. Yeah, it, it's risky. Yeah, but like, like at I, the same time, I, I have, have a it. monster. It's just not very high of attack. <laughs> Quantum mania. Okay, come on. Give me, give me a big tribute. Something to use with these. Suck. Uh, I will not activate Void Expansion. <laughs> no, you're supposed to scapegoat lock it yourself. Yeah, without uh, tributes or stuff. Um... And now I'm wishing I threw, I threw one of the guys that did piercing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we will quantum cat. All right. Uh, we'll go divine. It doesn't matter. It's just gonna die unless that's something that protects normal monsters. Uh, and a uh, fiend. Hmm. Fiend's type, you say? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll continue the attack. Oh, okay. I was, I was, I thought like this attack of the cornered rat coming out. What's going on? Cool. Because it was a fiend, he comes back! Huh. I thought that was when you destroy, when your fiend destroyed a mon- It's any battle in which a fiend was involved. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh, wait a minute, fuck. No. <laughs> no! 
Uh, <laughs> I was thinking subtraction. Okay, never mind. We're not clearing your guy this turn. Sure. I'll do this to destroy it and keep you off <laughs> monsters. Oh, it, it, infinity misplays have happened in here. Ironically, if you had targeted the burning dragon, it wouldn't last until next turn, and I wouldn't have been able to do that. But I was like, oh, I thought... I thought I had subtraction for a second, and then I was like, wait a minute, no, I need to summon my thing. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, we're, we're, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Chill out of ten. Chill out of ten. And I did forget about the teddy. <laughs> I, I've got to get you on a clock somehow. This this really sucks, but I got to do this. <laughs> You had the card I thought I had. I yeah. mean, yeah, it makes total sense. Gotta get in for some amount. Fortunately, he doesn't count himself. Four turn clock. And okay, I'll well, set I mean, another card. No. Those are like all the Paleozoics that have attack and defense. <laughs> I'll never get over your Burning Dragon. Never! 2,500 too big! I mean, I might actually die if I summon this, but I mean, I have to. Gotta try. Lair J! Behold, he gains, I think, like, t t 300 attack. Ooh. He gains nothing! No! Lose your memory! Get out of here. Okay. Well, now we'll pop this subtraction. Wait, I thought that was the effect you were... No. <laughs> I was doing his attack to gain 300. Ooh. Oh, that is unfortunate. Okay, come on. That's something I can use. That's something. Okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, no. I really wish I had taken that Sioux ship right about now. <laughs> Go in. Fish says hello. So am I dead to the the one Paleozoic nobody has ever played before? <laughs> the the gain 500 attack one. And he comes back. Just keeps coming back. All your fiend monsters. Mm. Uh, you're not dead to the Paleozoic. You're dead to the Phantom Knight. <laughs> 300! <laughs> Finally! No. Oh. I, uh, I, I lost because I didn't find the ball. It was clearly... Clearly. It was cl clearly the ball. You didn't find the ball and all I found that whole time out of all my tribute monsters. Okay. High stakes. Last duel. These have been some barn burners. It was looking, like, pretty grim for you at the beginning. You got to 1300, but I just both, couldn't do anything. Both of these duels have been, like, you know, one of us clearly had the lead and then somehow came back. Okay. Well, oh, I thought I'll, you I'll, liked going first. Well, I'm going to take your advice and go second. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm thinking too much value on having the first turn. Of uh, getting us first set up. Well, this is a thing. Mm, that that's that's pretty good. This is the that's hand like, I wish I had last time. That's like the the standard cash tier board a lot of the time, where they brick on all the non cash tier monsters, all all the spell traps, and hand traps. I mean, you can ash this if you want, but I do not have ash. I'll let you know. Playing the thing that lets you look at your top three cards. <laughs> Or let you guess the top card? Yeah. You know, if you had more than one, now you would know it was on top. Yeah. Uh, I, then you can well, he two. when he goes to the grave, he'll, he lets me stack the deck. Otherwise, he always shuffles. Ah. Uh. But yeah, I, I, got a, I, got, I got the guy. You got uh, it. Good job. I did it. I saved the world. This oh. time. Oh yeah, I think it, I included Speedroid Manko in this queue. Because, yeah, I tried to avoid anything that was in the previous battle packs. But... 
So much back row. Where's my back row? I live and die by the back row. It's something. Hi there. Uh, I guess I'll see this. I don't know why I'm playing around columns like there are mech knights or infirm in this. <laughs> All right, Botus, what you got? Got the uh, power of democracy? You're gonna vote all over me? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got a couple plays here. Um, I think the funniest one. I'm going to do the. I'm gonna do this one. Wanna be a little goofy with it? Tribute. Tetrid. <laughs> Tetrid. Um, we could remove one. Destroy one I mean, spell trap. Yeah, I mean, I guess that does, that does remove spell traps. I mean, if it's memory loss, I do get owned. It is not memory loss. It is mystical space typhoon. I mean, that's still a pretty good card. Yeah, I mean, you make sure I use it on something random instead of something that's maybe more useful. No. Butterfly yoke. Okay, uh, I mean, we'll go battle. Okay. Wow. You also get owned if it's an 1800 that destroys no! another spell trap. <laughs> Double owned! My life savings for a Tetran were destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It'll be all worth it for the stacking my deck here. Trust. Okay, let's see. Oasis, pinpoint... Well, <laughs> well, you can use bonus, that's for sure. I guess you could bring back the Tetran, but it only gets counters when it's normal summon. <laughs> yeah. And bonus only activates when it... Well, I guess it's the end phase. You could look at the top three, keep sending it to the graveyard. All right. Uh... Well, you know what time it is. Like they said in Godzilla 97. No! That's a lot of fish. <laughs> Let's go! A spaceship larger than nations versus one <laughs> big fish. You, do you have any idea how terrifying this Salmon King is? Oh, it's not dead. Um, but... Okay. I can't blow up back row anymore now. Good. I will set a back row then. <laughs> Fish versus spaceship. Who will win? Is what I would have said if I didn't have... Another... <laughs> <laughs> Another Tetran! <laughs> Another goddamn Tetran! Yeah? Yeah, I... I included a bunch of two ofs because I'm like, oh, I could... I, I have a bunch of two of guys for my bonus. Surely it'll be good. Surely. That is unfortunate. It's like the one non-chainable trap that I have. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna activate Landrobe! Ooh, Go to that's sleep. a good card. It's really surprising to me that they made a monster that's like Book of Moon something and then Special Summon. And it just never really saw that much play. Yeah, like, it is very interesting in, like, even in, like, Domain Monarchs. I mean, granted, Cosmos were a thing, so you couldn't target them, but... Yeah. No! Okay, yeah, and it got, I was like, it'll get rid of the counters, that way I don't have to deal with it for another turn, and I can get in for 800. And yeah, you can attack over the 800 if you want, but that requires you to put a monster in attack mode. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. We're, we're... <laughs> come on, come on, come on, whammy, come on, whammy. Whoa. We Got do, in fact, have two of this guy. Alright, what is that guy, besides being a thing? And he is also a fiend. Well, fuck. Yeah, we will special summon our Annihilator Archfiend. Uh, we will get aggressive and have an attack mode. Ah. 
Oh, it's only 2,000. For some reason, I thought it was 3,000. No, nope. uh, he is a card of all time. Goodbye, Terror King. Until the end of this turn. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye, Land Robe. You were a good vassal. I believed in you. And now he, he, he came, came back. back. Yes. I see why this is good if you get fiends. I just... Fiends are one of those types I never cared much for. I mean, they were kind of like dragons in early Yu-Gi-Oh, where they were just always awful for a lot. Like, there was, like, a couple standout ones, like Sangen, but, like, as, like, a, a full type in general, like, dragons were horrible yeah. for the longest time. Even though they were, like, it felt like everything was a dragon. Or a fiend. And yeah, we get to go trigger our Votus. Look at the top three. Those are not good. Um, yeah, you don't have any back row, but we'll see how this works out. Right, all right, all right. Okay, we will set a card and end our turn. Perfect. Things are not looking great for old Hodleg. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go Archfiend Soldier. Ah, a Solidar. Yeah, we wanted the beater. Yeah, let's do this. Activate this. We're going to lower this one's attack by 600. No. Oh, and that's permanent. Oh, no, these effects will last until the end of the turn. Okay. Oh, I can do both. No. And then I get to summon it. And Phantom Knight cards are not destroyed by battle. And we'll activate this. <laughs> no! You you stole my Archfiend card for my Archfiend deck. <laughs> I forgot this was an Archfiend. I just know traps. Traps, traps, traps. Every which way. Uh, I mean, yeah, we gotta put the better one out here. When you're. Okay, so at least that's when your opponent declares an attack. Yes, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have triggered it so many times! Yes, I'm going to continue to attack. We, we will see if there's a glitch in the matrix. Nope, nothing. Okay. But what if we attack it again? No. Um, I mean, you could you could try. You want to declare an attack? Yeah. Uh, I think I just go. We go annihilator to pop my soldier and the labyrinth archfiend because he's scaly. He's big. He's a big man. Like a Pikmin, but with fundamental differences. Also, this card came out, <gasps> like, at the end of Reigns. It's like, this is the Archfiend support that this Archfiend needed to be competitive. Cash Tira Birth. No! <laughs> Finally! It's all coming together. <laughs> I will use the effect to summon Greed Quasar! Oh, shit. Who does not have enough attack? I thought he would be high at this, this open. Well. I mean, if he kills one of my things, he could then get over the Annihilator Archfeet. Yes. Or if I leave it of an attack. Uh, well, I got so excited about doing a thing, I didn't, I didn't stop to question if doing that was a good thing. Yeah, I don't know what your last back row is. Oh, yeah, I do. I do. I, I literally saw you set it. I did set it, yes. Yeah, okay, so I'll go MST. The one that you knew was there. Unfortunate. Uh, I can go normal Callister. This is not Alistair. Activate uh, Annihilator. 
pop him and the birth. Oh? Because I still gained oh, the attack. okay. Gotcha. I thought you gained attack equal to the monster you destroyed. Well, I have risked all and lost then. Unless I get one specific top deck. And then he, he came back. back. That's such a cool loop. Yeah, so as long as I attack over something every turn, I can pop something every turn. But it does also mean leaving a 2,000 attack to Bungus. A 2,000 attack is still pretty good. Still and now... Oh, just pop in your own back room. I see. I, mean, I, I, I see. I figured we could be a bit more aggressive. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Because this is lethal unless you... Uh, that might be the speedroid Menko. I mean, you've been yeah. On. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Menko! It doesn't okay. have enough attack to get over your catalyzer! <laughs> All right, come on. Well, that's not awful. Uh, go Thunderbird. Oh, that that's a guy. It's indeed a guy. Okay, defense mode. Let's battle phase. Let's battle that phase. Okay, uh, I will. Uh... We'll, we'll bring back a guy. Uh, okay. I will not activate anything in response to that. Uh... Yeah. There you go. It's back in the graveyard. Mm. All right. And another back row. It had to be something. Yeah, although now I'm just realizing you could just tribute off the, the... I forget. I keep forgetting you gain attack when you pop. I keep thinking this is just a pop. Unfamiliar with the Annihilator. I was like, that should close the loop for the most part, right? No. No, it does not. Okay, so, yeah, if we activate Annihilator, you can dodge with the Thunderbird, but I'm not sure if that's what you want to be doing. And, I mean, I have to activate Annihilator to clear the Speedroid Venko, which is really funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do want to activate this. Oh, I wonder what your back row is, then. Who knows? Could be anything. Oh, actually, there might have been a line I had there that was better than that, because I, I should have left a monster to attack over, but it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. 2850. A fine year. Uh, okay. And It'll be it the year back. they finally ba ban Maxi and Master Duel. We could only hope. Uh, come forth, Evil Swarm Thunderbird! Have slightly too little attack! <laughs> uh, we, we were clouded on Master Gwynmere, but he would go brazy right now. <laughs> it's I, I had so many unstable evolutions, I should have taken it. It might have been a little unstable, but it would have gotten the job done, you know? Oh, I mean, uh, this is a pretty darn good Yu-Gi-Oh card, so we'll play him. I wanted that. I have the trap deck. Why do you do this to me? And, like, this is a card that would, like, potentially, like, make a whole entire archetype in Edison if it was in Edison. Yeah. Oh, you're dodging again. I am. 
So you, you must you, you must have something to live. Or I could just be, you know, doom-pilled. True. Just end uh, me quickly. We will discard this card. Amazement. Attraction. I will Annihilator Archfiend himself in your back row. Interesting. Why would you do that? Because uh, we had this as part of the loop. If you ever outed the Archfiend, we could discard any number of our fiend monsters. But it came back. To bring him back. He retines. Go, Annihilator. Potentially finish this duel. Uh, no, I have another Menko. <laughs> no! <laughs> More Menko! Menko, Menko, every day. Come on, give me something, hey! Ah! <sighs> really hoping. I have I have two copies of a card. Oddly specific. Works very well. I just not not drawing it when I need it. Yeah, and you can protect by banishing a trap. Of which you still have many! Several even. Yeah, I've I got think, one. Left. I think this is over. Oh, a sad state of affairs. We had two really good duels, and then I just like kind of failed and stumbled, and you got an infinite loop going. But it was yeah. at least nice to see the fiend stuff because I don't think anyone would have picked that otherwise. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, like, try to make this, like, one of the sub-themes with, like, having normal monsters, attribute matters, and then fiend, because there's a lot yeah. of cool fiends. It's just with how many, um, like, cards are in your set and how few of them are at three, it feels like it's hard to do, like, any actual sub-theme. But I guess not. <laughs> I just never paid attention to how many fiends there were. Uh, yeah. And I mean, now this is lethal on board because we attacked the Thunderbird. Oh. Well, it was Ooh. lethal either way. You attacked into it. Good job, you beat me at your own game, a sad state Ooh. of affairs. But I mean, pretty good for your, uh, you know, your first crossover. You yeah. came, you saw, you conquered. I, I mean, I, I, I did, I did cheat by knowing the entire cube, so, like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the same could be said of me in every episode, and I, I don't often win those. Here's my deck, by the way, if you wanted to see what I was, what I was trying to do. Yeah, I, I had actually some pretty had, cool things. <laughs> I had the ball in my hand the, the, the <laughs> at the end there. That's that's the only reason why I won because he, he was there with me in spirit. Yeah. He, he was my backup plan if he blew up my infinite loop. I had soul exchange <laughs> ball. He was just yeah, ready, but, being prepared. Yeah, I was just hoping at the end there, like if I could get the Terror Queen Salmon, if I could get that on, that'll help me stall long enough to get another Labyrinth Archfiend, because that felt like such a house, but uh, you you toppled it fairly easily. Oh, you did. You yeah, you never saw Infernal Queen Salmon. No. That's such a good card. I never saw my other level seven either. I've I've played that every time I've played, and it's never showed up. <laughs> I didn't. Oh. I had I had like more revival stuff, but I had so many like trap monsters, and I was like, I I don't think it's worth it other than the the one oasis of dragon souls. Yeah, a, a card that might have uh, that was in my deck that actually might have been crazy in your deck would have been the nine tailed fox because you were kind of having the issue of you just needed like more guys that had higher attack sooner. Yeah. And this thing is just always in the graveyard and can always come back. And that that was I was looking at mine and it's like, well, I've got the two Terror Kings, I've got the two level sevens, the two Labyrinth, and the Burning Dragon. It's like that feels like pretty much, and then I just didn't see most of them most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I regret not putting in my own praying mantis. I forgot to put it in. I'm like, I look like a goober. He's pretty good if you can get him. 
But either way, we, we've been here long enough. Hopefully everyone at home enjoyed those duels. If you did, go ahead and make sure you check out I Wish I Was Dead. I should again have the Twitch listed down in the description. Do you have any, any final words before you head out, Mr. Dead? Well, uh, I, I mean, I, I'm glad to partake in probably the the worst uh, episode of this series of all time. Oh, I no. It'll, Not it'll even get close. Canceled. <laughs> um, it'll have... It'll be the first one to get negative views. They'll figure out how to install a negative view counter. It will remove ever the pessimist, but we like having you here either way. Thank and, you for and, having me on. Until next time, good luck. And then you say, and have fun. And have fun. There you go. Got it.